Indian government sources indicated that India will continue buying oil from Russia, despite U.S. President Donald Trump's threats of penalties and a new 25% tariff on Indian exports. Trump had suggested India might halt such purchases, but officials clarified these are bound by long-term contracts and cannot stop abruptly. They argued that Russian imports help stabilize global oil prices and are bought below the EU's price cap. While Russia remains India's top supplier, state refiners have recently paused purchases due to reduced discounts, not political pressure. India reaffirmed its time-tested energy partnership with Russia and stress procurement is guided by market conditions. Meanwhile, EU sanctions on Naira Energy, a Rosneft-linked refiner, have disrupted shipments and led to its CEO's resignation, adding complexity to India's Russian oil trade. LAT Aerospace, founded by Zomato co-founder Pankaj Chada, is developing a 24-seater short takeoff and landing aircraft, aiming to surpass the 19-seater NAL Saras MK2 in capacity and utility. Designed for remote and short airstrips, the aircraft will target India's Tier 2 and Tier 3 towns under the UDN scheme, addressing regional connectivity gaps. It will feature composite materials, advanced avionics and fuel-efficient engines, suitable for both civil and special missions, like medical evacuation and cargo transport. Development work is underway, with ambitions to rival global SDOL aircraft, such as the Twin Otter, but tailored for Indian conditions. The project marks a significant step for private sector innovation in India's aerospace industry, aligning with government self-reliance goals and startup-friendly reforms to strengthen domestic aviation manufacturing. The Indian Navy conducted a joint maritime patrol with the Philippine Navy in the South China Sea during a port call at Manila, aimed at boosting bilateral naval ties and regional security. The exercise enhanced interoperability and focused on tackling piracy, smuggling, and securing sea lanes. The event also marked the first operational display of the Indian Navy's newly inducted Shibal Camcopter S-100 unmanned aerial systems, locally assembled by VM Technologies. Under the Make in India initiative, equipped with advanced ISR sensors, a 180 km range and 6-hour endurance, these VTOL drones can operate from ship decks without runways, significantly improving maritime surveillance capabilities. The patrol underscored India and the Philippines' shared commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific, while showcasing India's growing self-reliance in defense technology. Hindustan Shipyard Limited, HSL, is in talks with the Vietnam People's Navy to secure a contract for refitting its six Russian-built Kilo-class submarines, acquired between 2013 and 2017. These advanced diesel-electric submarines form the backbone of Vietnam's maritime deterrence, particularly in the South China Sea. The proposed refits would include hull repairs, propulsion upgrades, and enhancements to sensors, weapons, and possibly lithium-ion batteries or air-independent propulsion systems. HSL's proven expertise with Indian Navy's Kilo-class fleet, including the record-fast refit of an ECAM-class submarine in July 2025, strengthens its bid. With decades of submarine refit experience, partnerships with MDL, and a strong MSME network, HSL aims to expand its influence in Southeast Asia. The project would bolster India-Vietnam defense ties and reinforce India's role as a regional hub for advanced naval maintenance. The UAE's Edge Group is advancing talks with Indian defense firms to locally manufacture its Hunter series of loitering munitions, Hunter 10, Hunter N, and Hunter 2S, for domestic use and export. These precision kamikaze drones, developed by Edge subsidiary Alcone, serve roles in ISR, close air support, ground strike and naval missions. Edge plans to align with India's Make in India initiative, partnering with firms such as Adani Defense, Megagroups ICOM, and Bharat Dynamics Limited. The Hunter variants offer diverse capabilities, 
from medium-range multi-role missions to naval precision strikes and AI-driven swarm operations. Building on existing Indo-UAE defense collaborations, EDGE aims to leverage India's manufacturing ecosystem to meet armed forces' needs while exporting to global markets. This initiative could strengthen India's defense self-reliance and enhance its position as a hub for next-generation unmanned systems. Bharat Electronics Limited Chairman Manoj Jain urged MSMEs in the defense and aerospace sectors to adopt stringent quality and certification standards to integrate into the global supply chain. Speaking at the Curtain Razor for the 7th India Manufacturing Show in Bengaluru, he stressed flexibility without compromising regulatory compliance. IMS 2025, set for November 6 to 8 at the Bangalore International Exhibition Center, will focus on manufacturing, defense, and aerospace. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh will inaugurate the event, which is expected to generate business leads worth Rs 450 crore. Key ministers, including H.D. Kumaraswamy and Pralhad Joshi, will also attend. The three-day event will feature B2B interactions, technology transfers, joint ventures and policy dialogues with industry leaders, aiming to boost international collaborations and strengthen India's role in high-tech manufacturing. On August 30, 2024, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited achieved a milestone by completing the first flight of the Indigenous Automatic Flight Control System, AFCS, integrated into the light utility helicopter. The AFCS, developed with DRDO and Indian Avionics Partners, enhances stability, reduces pilot workload, and includes an autopilot feature essential for high-altitude and tactical missions. The Indian Army, seeking to replace its aging Cheetah and Chetuk helicopters, has made AFCS integration a prerequisite for induction. Certification trials are now underway, building on the LUH's proven performance in extreme altitudes during user trials. Designed for roles such as reconnaissance, logistics, and casualty evacuation, the three-ton LUH with AFCS will meet modern operational standards, strengthen high-altitude capabilities, and advance India's self-reliance in rotorcraft development under the Atmanur Bharat initiative. <laughs> India's drive to develop indigenous jet engine technology is facing a critical talent barrier. Many highly experienced Indian origin aerospace engineers who have worked at global firms like GE, Pratt & Whitney and Rolls-Royce, are eager to return and contribute to national defense programs. However, the current hiring system mandates clearing competitive exams designed for entry-level candidates, effectively excluding seasoned experts with decades of real-world R&D and leadership experience. These engineers, some holding patents and having led next-gen engine programs abroad, are willing to accept lower salaries to support India's self-reliance goals under Atmanur Bharat. Yet procedural red tape prevents their entry into premier labs like GTRE and ADA. Industry leaders and defense experts are urging the government to create a special lateral entry pathway, offering contractual or project-based roles, fast-track appointments, or reverse brain drain incentives. Such reforms could accelerate India's jet engine projects, including the Kaveri derivative and future high-thrust engines for fifth- and sixth-generation fighters. Without urgent policy changes, India risks losing this strategic talent to bureaucracy at a pivotal moment for its aerospace ambitions. <laughs> India is advancing the Tejas Mk2, or medium-weight fighter, a 4.5-generation multi-role combat aircraft developed by HAL in collaboration with DRDO and ADA, designed to replace aging Jaguar, Mirage 2000 and MiG-29 fleets, the aircraft will feature about 82% indigenous content initially, expected to exceed 90% once engine production is localized. Prototype rollout is targeted for late 2025, with the first flight in 2026 and mass production by 2028-29. The MK-2 integrates six major made-in-India systems, 
The Diardio Utame SA Radar, an indigenous mission computer, a fully Indian electronic warfare suite, a digital quadruplex fly-by-wire system, cockpit display systems by HAL and BL, an integration of indigenous smart weapons like Astra BVR missiles, SAW, and laser-guided bombs. These advancements enhance combat flexibility, survivability, and self-reliance. Powered initially by the GEF-414 INS-6 engine, the fighter is planned to transition to an indigenous Kaveri derivative in the future. With advanced avionics, weapon systems, and high indigenous content, the Tejas MK-2 marks a major leap in India's aerospace capabilities and a decisive step toward defense self-reliance. The Aeronautical Development Agency has extended the deadline for submitting bids for the full-scale engineering development of the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA, from August 16 to August 31, 2025. The extension follows amendments to key sections of the Expression of Interest, issued on June 18, 2025, refining scope, eligibility, contractual terms, and annexures to align with industry feedback. The AMCA is a 25-ton twin-engine, fifth-generation stealth fighter program designed to equip the Indian Air Force by the early 2030s, countering advanced threats like China's J-20. Approved by the Cabinet Committee on Security in March 2024 with a rupees 15,000 crore budget for Phase 1, the plan includes building five prototypes by 2029 and inducting 120 to 150 aircraft to replace Mirage 2000 and Jaguar fleets. Private sector giants like Tata Advanced Systems, HAL, Bharat Forge, and LNT are expected to participate. The amendments aim to strengthen public-private partnerships, clarify roles in stealth technology, indigenous avionics, and engine integration, and ensure smooth progress toward full-scale production targeted for 2032. That's all from YKS team for now, hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.